Now to the interesting part, which is putting all of this back in here. You're going to put these things in the reverse order in which you took them out. It's not that difficult. It's fairly straightforward. You just got to remember which screws go back where and there's no problem. First of all, the loading gate. We could have cleaned this. We could have cleaned this had just as much access if we hadn't taken the this this the loading gate out you know every four or five times you clean your rifle take it off just to check it make sure there's no rusting or anything it's well um, blued so it's unlikely to rust until the rifle's really really old but just give it a check up to you you know you decide whatever you want to do now remember this can be a bit tricky because you gotta hold it from the inside there is a bit of a cut area where this arm fits in and the easiest thing to do is just to hold it with your hand line up the hole put the screw in okay provided you hold the loading gate in place the screw will grab it and uh, and it'll just thread through and it'll hold it it's a, it's a pretty good design actually, it's not tricky at all. Loading gate is back in place. Okay, remember you're going to lightly lubricate all these pieces when you clean them. Once you clean them, you put a little bit of lubricant so they're ready to go back in. Not a lot, only needs a little, little, little bit. You can use grease or a light oil or a rag with a little bit of uh, CLP. Just a light coat so that things run smoothly when they come into contact with each other they'll, they'll be nice and smooth okay so turn the rifle upside down place the shell carrier in it's got to go this way remember because obviously when the rifle's facing up the shell will sit on that so it's basically upside down okay that will just fall into place we'll grab the carrier pivot screw which um, goes in through this side here okay now you turn this a couple of times only you don't you don't screw it all the way because you need the carrier to be free to be able to move around when you're trying to put the um, the trigger the hammer pivot screw, the big screw that goes in here, just underneath the safety. That, remember, is under tension with the trigger. So it'll be a tricky one. That's the one that's going to give us the most trouble, but it's not too bad. You'll see there's an easier way of doing it. Now the locking lug. Okay, so I cleaned that and I lubricated it. Remember, it can only go in one way, which is it's got a thick side on one side and a thin side on this side. And if you have a look inside here, it can only fit one way if you if you were to try and put it the other way it just won't fit in because one side is bigger than the other so that, that's a no-brainer now we gotta put the trigger plate back on which is this uh, remember that takes two screws one at the front and one on the side that will basically just go on here remember that that comes up in order to line up with the hole here it has to be right up against the timber on the fore end and then again the longer one because of the bottom the shorter one on the side so we'll grab the longer one we'll go to the bottom first okay again you do not snug it okay you just just thread it and let it uh, let it rest okay now the side support screw goes in here which is the shorter one let's drop it in okay now the trigger plate is back on we don't snug the screws we have to put the the hammer pivot screw in but remember because it's under tension from the trigger spring it has to be done in a certain way remember we're gonna need to depress this little this little protrusion here in order to for the trigger to go all the way back now you can use you can use um, your finger but that hurts 
uh, or you can use like a piece of wood or a screwdriver or something right you can use a screwdriver push it in and then with your with your right hand thumb pull the trigger which will, will hold it in place okay make sure that doesn't move if it's all in place then the pivot screw the hammer pivot screw should just drop in it's a little bit tricky maybe this this would be the trickiest part of the whole operation okay so again just with practice you should be able to get it it will be a lot easier the next time you do it I remember the first time I did it I thought I'd done something completely wrong but uh, I didn't realize that I had to do this until later so if this is lined up properly basically a screw will just pop in once this tension is taken up then that can be moved easily if the tension is not taken up then you're gonna have to push this in order to line up the hole it'll be a lot harder so basically once the trigger pivot screw is in you snug it up then then the forward most screw at the bottom of the receiver then the side support screw which is the one on this side here the left hand side and then you tighten the carrier the shell carrier screw you you tighten that one last as, as you can see that was the trickiest part of the operation um, everything else from now it, it's it's pretty straightforward the press the little metal protruding metal pull the trigger back hold it maneuver this into position okay Okay, and maneuver this into position. And if it's lined up, the screw should just simply push in. Then you can uh, you can snug that one because that's the last, that's the most important one. Once that is in in in, in the correct orientation, then everything else is fine. You can tighten it at your heart's content. So basically, just gonna give it a good, good snug. Okay, now we snug the other ones. So the hammer pivot screw is the screw that could do with a little bit of Loctite, removable Loctite. All the other ones you don't really need to. They don't. They don't have a habit of coming loose, so now we do the last one is the shell carrier pivot screw, and that's the one we're gonna do now. I don't wanna screw that screw. Okay, so now all we have to put back in is the bolt, the extractor, um, and the spring. We're going to replace the, the shell extractor. Okay, that basically just drops in into the little hole in there. It's just going to need tweezers. That's all I use. Basically line it up. And push it in. There you go. And you can tell because there's a little hole here. That little hole there is where the little lug drops in and that holds it in place. It's not screwed in or anything. Because remember that runs along that runs along here on the side of the bolt and then the bolt keeps it under pressure. So as the bolt operates that doesn't come out it's, it's in there it's captured we pull the hammer back and we replace the bolt okay now we'll give this a, a light oiling 
I think the the bolt has to be really well and truly lubricated. It's the it's the part that is gonna have the most pressure put on it. And uh, I think it just um, it needs to be nice nicely well oiled. It does the heavy lifting, I think. Now this can only go one way again. This can only go one way, so it'll just go in there. Runs along. Remember, when you take the bolt out, remember we open the the lever about halfway. So don't put it all the way in. Just keep it back here so we can put the the lever back in. the lever, give it a bit of a CLP as well. I had put a bit of oil earlier, but a bit of CLP probably won't hurt. I really like CLP. CLP works great um, on my on my rifle, so I like it. Uh, and apparently it's the only, it's the, uh, the official uh, lubricant that uh, the US Olympic team uses. So they must know what they're doing, so they must be using it for a reason. Okay, so now this just goes in. Yeah, it goes in. This can do with a bit of CLP as well, because remember the, the lever actuates on this. Doesn't need to be like, my goodness, tight, but it needs to be positively tight. Just basically run it to the end and you can tell when you can't go any further. So that's where you stop. There you go. There's our bolt in place and fully operational. There we go. Beautiful. Now, this is called the main spring and the retainer. So that's the retainer and that's the main spring. This little hole here has to sit at the end of that like this take the spring out that has to sit in there like that can you see can you see this little cut out there that flat bit has to after being threaded through that metal has to be down here so basically the spring has to be compressed the spring has to be compressed so that it fits in there, so that that will sit on there. The easiest thing from, that I've found is to put the, the rifle vertically and to push it from the top with a screwdriver, pushing against the spring and then maneuvering this duvi lackey into position. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I'm going to move the camera so that you can see the top and uh, basically this is sitting on the bench. but you can do it standing up or sitting on a chair, putting putting the the rifle, the muzzle on your foot, and then pushing down with a screwdriver to maneuver that into that little cutout at the top here. Okay. So we gotta put the screw sorry, the spring in there, the retainer. Now, but before we do that, the hammer has to be has to be at the front. The hammer has to be at the front against the frame, like this. Okay, because then that'll give us more room to work up here. There we go. So we put our uh, mainspring on here. We grab our retainer. Okay. And what I've um, found the easiest way to do it with is with a screw driver. Put 
pushing down. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Pushing down against the spring. And once the retainer. Once the retainer. There we go. Once the retainer is in the groove, then you home and host. That's not coming out of there. Once it's in there, because of the spring tension, and it's even more when you when you cock the hammer. Remember what I said to you? If this is not all the way through to the back, to the top, it doesn't depress the little doobie lucky that sticks out of the bottom. And the, the the trigger won't activate the mechanism. So it has to be all the way and then when you pull the trigger, boom, off you go. All we gotta do now is replace the stock. So we oil up the um, the big screw that holds the stock in, just to protect from corrosion and rust. Okay, give it a bit of CLP. Basically, that just that goes in there like that. The screw just goes in. Snug it. Bob's your uncle. Working perfect. Got a half cock so that the safety can go on and then just take the safety off full cock and boom you can shoot so if the safety is on you can still action action the lever you can unload while it is safe which is the safest way to unload The, the safety won't come on if 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 it's all the way forward it has to be in half cock then the safety will go on and you're able to basically you're able to um, unload there you go. beautiful that's it guys, all done. Okay, cheers guys, cheers and happy camping. And uh, when I mean, when I say cheers, I mean cheers. Have a beer on me. Cheers guys, all the best. Cheers and happy camping. Let's get some more two-pack happening. Troublesome nigga. <laughs>
I'm born leader, never lead a block without my heater. Got me a dog and named him my bitch nigga heater. What could they do to me, a little brat? Shit, the niggas that shot me and still terrified. I beat they ass. How can I show you how I feel inside? We outlaws, motherfuckers can't kill my pride. Niggas talk a lot of shit, but that's after them gone. Cause they fear me in the physical form. Let it right, go, brother, brother. Bye. 